Welcome to the English Christian Times. Vatican News, read by Annette Zender. It's a real mystery how a man of the church, given all his knowledge of China, of the communists, could do such a thing as he's doing now. Zen said, adding that, in his view, the only explanation is not faith, it's a diplomatic success, vainglory. Zen also criticized Francis's approach, arguing that in his view, given the Pope's moves on China, he has a low respect for his predecessors. He is shutting down everything done by Pope John Paul II and by Pope Benedict, he said, accusing Francis's allies of giving up lip service when they insisted the Pope's moves are in continuity with his predecessors. But that's an insult, Zen said. Related, love it or hate it. Francis's China deal has a deep Vatican pedigree. Zen said that in 2010, Diaz and Parolin pitched a draft agreement with China to Benedict, but it was never signed. Zen voiced his belief that Benedict XVI refused to sign the document. However, he admitted that he has no evidence to back his theory up. Regarding the current agreement, which has been in force since September 2018, Zen said that although he is one of two Chinese cardinals and has been to Rome three times since rumours of the agreement began to circulate in early 2018, he has yet to see it and, like most, does not know the terms. Despite his opposition to Francis on the China issue, Zen said that personally they enjoy wonderful relations noting that he dined with the Pope in July. However, he doesn't answer my letters and everything that happened is against what I suggested. The main topics of Zen said he takes issue with the agreement, the lifting of the excommunication of seven illicitly ordained bishops as part of the deal and what he said was the subsequent killing of the so-called underground church composed of those who refused to register with the official government sanctioned Catholic Patriotic Association PA in a bid to stay faithful to Rome. You cannot cheat yourself. You cannot cheat the communists. You are cheating the whole world, he said, because a person registers PA, you accept to be a member of that church under the leadership of the Communist Party. Referring to Francis's remark on a flight back from Madagascar in September, when he said that while he doesn't want a schism, he's not afraid of one either. Zen insisted that if he gets the chance, he's going to tell the Pope that he is encouraging a schism. You are legitimizing the schismatic church in China in terms of peacefully practicing their faith independently in communist China, Zen said that because of the Catholic Church's global dynamic, there's no hope, no hope at all. Christian Times, Rome. Welcome to English Christian Times. This is your YouTube channel. Please subscribe to this free channel. Press the bell icon and share it with all your contacts. You can also post it in your Facebook and WhatsApp groups and other social media. Thank you for spending your valuable time with us. Once again, welcome to the English Christian Time.